Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is Unify in an early, uh, early release, early access release has started adding ACLs for layer three switches. So let's take a look at what that at, at what that looks like. This is, this is the release notes for 8.1.111. I'll leave a link to this down below. And you can see right here that it says added isolate network for layer three switches. So what does that, what does that look like? Let's hop on over to the UDR. You can see right here I've got this test network, which is VLAN 4, and it is set up on my Switch Pro Max 24. You know, the switch that's got the different colored LEDs. Now, if I click on this VLAN and I come down here um, and I uh, I'm on the wrong network. If I click on this VLAN and I come down here and I click manual, you can now see where I have this isolate network ACL, right? So switches use uh, access control lists versus firewall rules. They do the same thing. And ACL and firewall rules can, can be considered almost the same thing. And uh, even if you're working with like Active Directory, Synology, file systems, things like that, we talk about access control lists all the time, right? It's ways that we control permissions, traffic, things like that. If we highlight the tooltip, it says isolates this network's IP version 4 subnet from all other VLANs using an IP version 4 access list on the Unify switch. Devices on this network are able to communicate with each other. So it blocks that inner VLAN traffic, but it doesn't block traffic on the same VLAN. So you can select that. And if you save that now, I have now just isolated this test VLAN from the rest of the VLANs that are on my UDR. The other thing that you could do is you could stop traffic at the firewall from traversing into your layer three and, and vice versa, right? So you could come into security, go to traffic and firewall rules, and the new view in one dot or 8.1.111 is the simple view. I like the advanced view. And... Um, you know, you can see we got LAN in, LAN out, app, internet, because it's it's merging the um, traffic and the firewall rules on the screen here. But what we can see is if we come in here, let's let's add a new rule. So it would be LAN in, and we would say block test to whatever network. Reject all protocols. Source would be network test. And then our destination would be either a, an, a, an IP group, like we could put all the RFC addresses in there and block to that. Um, or we could select, you know, another network. Now, isolating the network effectively created that, that rule for us using an ACL. So it looks like they're going to start uh, teasing this, or not teasing it, they're going to start implementing it. I don't know if this is where the buck stops. I don't know if it's going to get an advanced screen with ACLs because ACLs are extremely powerful, powerful just like firewall rules. And maybe they're going to lean on the firewall rules and ACLs combined to do traffic filtering and things like that. If you've never configured ACLs on a switch, boy, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. You can get locked out real easy. But does this change your mind about layer three switching with Unify? Does it does it, is it going to make you think about using it? Or are you going to stick with someone else? You know we've got other vendors. We're going to throw them in the rack that's right there. And we're going to be doing some OSPF videos. That's one thing the Unify switch doesn't have is, is dynamic routing. Although dynamic routing is coming to Unify, it doesn't look like it is on the switch. So let me know what you think about this. Is this a positive improvement? Is this something that you see yourself using now that they at least have this isolate network? Um, I don't know where the future is going to go with this. I don't think anybody does. There's there's uh, uh, hope that once they introduce a feature like this, they'll keep maturing it. 
So let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link, a link to our community. So come on over, join the community. Let's talk about this in our community. It's community.willyhow.com. And if you need IT consulting, just head on over to willyhow.com. There's a contact form right there on the front page. Go ahead and fill that out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.